Rahim. Hello students, welcome to the electrical engineering channel. In this lecture, I am discussing the fluoride and the magnetic field intensity uh, using Ampere's law can be evaluated for a toroid as well. So for, as in the case of solenoid, uh, we have two types of toroids and uh, what is the difference between a solenoid and a toroid? Uh, solenoid is actually a straight cylinder. Uh, which is wound by n number of turns but uh, if we make that straight conductor or a straight cylindrical conductor as a circular ring then it will become a toroid right so our cylindrical core uh, has actually become circular okay so this is a circular cylindrical core and uh, we have windings over this core as you can see in this figure so these are the windings and this has become a toroid. Now we can evaluate magnetic field intensity. Uh, if we have infinite number of turns, it will become a continuous or an, an infinite toroid. And if we have n number of turns, uh, that will be an n turn toroid. So the magnetic field expressions will be different for both these two types. Uh, so let's first consider the continuous or the toroid with infinite number of turns. So this is a continuous toroid. The diameter is equal to 2a. The diameter of this toroid is equal to 2a and uh, its inner radius uh, is equal to rho naught, right, from the z-axis up to the center of this toroid. Uh, the radius is equal to rho naught and this uh, diameter of the toroid is equal to 2a. So at inner surface, this is our inner surface uh, rho will be equal to rho naught minus a right from here up to this point we have the distance of rho naught and if i subtract uh, a so a is a radius so from here up to here the distance or radius is equal to a so if i subtract a from this uh, rho naught i will be at this point right and at this point the direction of current is upward so the current is flowing in the circular direction, but at this point, at the inner edge, the direction of current is along the z-axis and uh, the current is again distributed uh, over the surface of the toroid. So we have to consider the surface current density k and k is equal to kaaz because at this point, the direction of current is along the z-axis. So k is equal to kaaz and uh, the total current i will be equal to current density multiplied by the length of this curve so the length of this circular inner ring is actually equal to the circumference of this inner ring and the circumference of this inner ring is equal to 2 pi r and the radius of this inner ring is equal to rho naught minus a as i have just told you so the total current will be equal to k a times 2 pi rho naught minus a so that is the total current now let's apply ampere's law for this current and h dot dl is equal to h phi into 2 pi rho, right? So dl is actually rho d phi a phi. So h dot a phi will be equal to h phi. And if I integrate rho d phi from 0 to 2 pi, I will get 2 pi rho. And let's equate this uh, h phi 2 pi rho to this total current 2 pi k a rho naught minus a. So then I will get h is equal to k a rho naught minus a over rho a phi and h is equal to 0 outside. So outside means here. So, so any, any other point outside the toroid, the magnetic field intensity will be equal to 0. And within the solenoid, the magnetic field intensity is given as this expression. And it will go on decreasing as we move away from the z-axis or as we increase this distance rho. So that is the expression for a continuous or an infinite term toroid for an n turn toroid we will have uh, uh, such uh, a scenario and here you can see uh, that the current filaments uh, are available and the current is flowing in all these turns so h dot dl is equal to n times i and uh, h phi rho d phi is equal to n i and h is equal to n i over 2 pi rho a phi and h will be equal to 0 outside so that is the set of two equations for an n turn to right and i hope you have understood 
today's lecture on magnetic field intensity application of amperes law on toroid and uh, how we can calculate the magnetic field intensity inside and outside the toroid for watching more lectures please subscribe this channel until the next lecture it's goodbye